Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn a technique called masking in Adobe Animate CC. If you have Adobe Flash, this technique works the same way as it does with Animate. So, here we have layer 1. Okay, here I'm going to create the mask. So let's say I'm just creating a circle here, right? And in layer 2, I'm going to push this down. Okay, just to have a little bit of idea of layer 1 and 2, I kept the layer 2 down. And in the layer 2, I'm going to create some text. So I'm going to write here, let's say, hello. Okay, and just to show some difference, I'm going to have a different color here. Let me make the size to be a bit more bigger. Okay, now the color of the mask does not really matter. Okay, so whether you have a green color or red color, white color, does not matter. Okay, so for now, I'm just keeping it as it is. I'm just going to push this just above the hitch. Okay, so now if I create the mask, what will happen is uh, only the area where I have the circle on the next layer, that is the text layer, will show up. Okay, so to make it as a mask, all we need to do is just right click here and choose mask. Boom. So as you can see, only the place where we had the circle shows up in the text layer. And you will also notice a few other changes in the layers. You'll see that the layer 2 went inside, indented a bit, uh, basically which means that this becomes something like a child to this first layer. And you will also notice that both the layers are locked. So if you want to make any further changes to this, all we need to do is just select, select here to unlock those layers. And I can make this, for example, bigger or smaller to cover up more space or whatever you want. Right. So now if I just lock these two layers again, you'll see that now we have more of that text content visible. Now let's make it a bit more interesting. I'm going to uh, create a little animation here for this circle. OK, so I want to make the circle go from left to right. To do that, we need to first convert this into a symbol. Right now, keep in mind, while converting into symbol, I noticed that many students make this mistake. OK, so if you simply right click on this object and convert this to symbol, what will happen is it will just select only the fill color. OK, now notice what you have. You also have a stroke, right? So if you want to select both of them, you will need to double click inside to select the entire object, including the fill and the stroke. Great. So otherwise, you can simply just select the uh, stroke and then delete it because for creating the mask, the stroke does not help us much. So we just need the fill. So now I'll just select the fill, right click, convert to symbol. It's not showing in our screen. So what we can do is we can also go to modify and choose convert to symbol. Or we can also press F8. So I'm going to name this as mask. OK, it can be a movie clip. It can be a graphic symbol, does not matter. And I'll click OK. That looks good. Fine. So now what I want to do is I want to create an animation. To do that, I will right click on the first layer here and first layer is first frame and choose insert, sorry, where it is, uh, create motion tween. That's it. So we have the animation space till uh, frame number 24. That's for one second of animation. Fine. So at frame number 24, all I want to do is move it to the next end, but I'm missing something. Where's the text? The text does not show here because the text is in a different layer and that layer does not have any frames at frame number 24. So all we need to do is let's go to frame number 24 in the layer 2 which is basically the text layer. So if I want to know I can also write here text. Okay so that's the text layer and this is going to be the mask layer. Great. And now I can just right click here and choose insert frame or you can also press F5 to do the same task and that shows up the text so we know now where the text ends all I need to do is move this masking circle to the end here and you'll see these little dots which actually shows us that we have some keyframes there and we have our animation that's good now all we need to do is just lock these two layers and I press enter key you will see that the text shows only in the area that we want. That's cool. So next thing that I want to do is I want to make it a bit more nicer. You see, 
I have the text shown only in the place where uh, the mask is okay I want to show the rest of the text in a different color right so that would make it look a bit more nicer so what I'll do is I want to make one more set of one more text and this mask should be coming in some kind of silver color or whitish color so that I can have the rest of the content uh, behind it okay so not silver maybe light blue should look nice <laughs> okay let's try so I'm gonna unlock these two layers uh, if you want to do this you can you could have done the same step before also okay so this is the text layer so I'm gonna name this as uh, let's say this is going to be the mask so this needs to be in light blue color so let's say text light okay and I need to make a copy of this so we can either copy the layer we can copy the text whatever way you like we just need to make one more layer of the same text so here I'm gonna copy this text I'm taking a new layer now keep in mind this new layer should be outside this mask because we don't want this new layer to be masked so I will just push this all the way out and just try to move it towards the left you see it should not be indented if it is indented that means it becomes part of the mask so we want to bring this out so make sure that the mouse pointer is here and release so we got it out which is perfect so now at frame number one I want to paste that same text so let's say right click and choose paste in place now we have two texts and both of them are in the same color and both of them are in the same place so we won't be able to see the difference so what I want to do is I want to make the text layer inside the mask which is basically the text light we can call this as text blue so we know the difference okay so just to make uh, avoid the confusion we can also turn this off I mean like hide the display of this layer because we're just going to change this one okay so select this guy select him here go and change it to something like a light blue something like that should look good if it is not we can change it later and now I can turn this on and you will actually see that just a little bit of border there uh, that's the dark blue color which is in the next layer great so now I'll, all I need to do is just turn lock lock that's it so now you can see that this uh, text light is being hidden because of the mask and we are actually seeing the text blue great uh, now all I need to do is press enter and there you go so we have the text in the background I'll just press control enter so we have the text in the background the dark blue text in the background and then we have this um, light blue masking through the text okay great so next thing that I want to do is I want to actually put all this animation inside a movie clip so that it would just keep on repeating again and again uh, so to do that all I have to do is just select all these content okay from the top till the bottom I'm gonna do convert text no uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and copy frames or cut frames because we don't want it here so cut frames and I want to take uh, I'm gonna go to insert and choose new symbol okay so this is going to be movie clip I'm gonna say mask animation okay so let's go ahead and click okay and right click here and paste okay so now what will happen is we need to bring that uh, animation that we created inside here so we can actually get rid of all these layers now this is uh, not mandatory you can actually do it in any different ways you like I just wanted to organize it a bit more better and I want this animation to repeat again and again and I want to place them uh, somewhere in the center uh, to just to make the workflow better okay so now you will see if I just press control enter we have the same result and we just have one single layer I'm gonna call this as text mask okay so once we've finished with this text I'm gonna lock this layer and next thing that I want to do is I want to take a new layer and in this new layer I want to create a border here okay to create a border the easiest thing is I can just create one rectangle out here okay and I think I should just keep it without the uh, curving here so let's make it zero and let's start from this top 
left okay and till the bottom right okay just went a little bit up not, does not matter and then I also need to create an inside shape okay so for the inside shape I will change this color to something light it does not matter because we're gonna actually delete this and okay so let me just start from here and just approximately put them somewhere there now keep in mind I'm creating this uh, both these objects in the same layer so that means you know that when I delete this one what will happen is it's just going to create a hole okay and that hole basically shows us the uh, other text that we have in the next layer okay so because what we actually need is we just need this border right just this outline I don't need this stroke also I can get rid of that that's perfect so this is exactly what I wanted and for this shape I'm gonna create a mask right so uh, remember for the text we needed three layers that is two different types of text two colors of text the same way I also need another border of this so I'm gonna call this as border blue or dark blue and then I'm gonna make a copy of the same layer I'm gonna right click here and choose um, duplicate layers there you go so this is going to be called as border light okay and then on top of this we're gonna create a mask okay so one more layer and this layer is going to be the mask I'm gonna make uh, the area to be a bit bigger so that we can create a mask and here I need to make a rectangle like this and it doesn't matter what color we have for this guy whatever color you have it's going to result in creating the mask and this border light I will have to change the color to something like that so now we have this layer which is actually going to pass through creating the mask and then we have uh, this border layer and then we have the dark blue layer I think the dark blue also I will change the color a bit more similar to this text color so let's see I think that looks good yeah they both look the same now and I can just turn these things on okay so this guy I'm gonna make him rotate let's say 45 degrees should look good okay and this should be a bit more bigger because it needs to cover up the length till there okay I'm gonna convert this into a symbol uh, this is going to be like beam mask okay click okay there and I have to animate this so let's right click here and choose create motion tween now keep in mind this is the same steps that we did for the text okay so all, the only difference is it's just different object that's all so I'll keep him here for the starting do, 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 do. okay good and then at the end he will come down okay so it's just starting from there coming here and that is it so all I need to do now is right click and choose mask so now if I press enter you'll see that just border shows up in the mask color if I press control enter I will see both the text animation and I will see the border animation now to make it much more a bit more better we can also add more copies of the same uh, uh, object that I have I can just double click this go inside make a copy paste it and just push it down okay and just like this guy make another copy paste uh, I can just move it like so then push it down okay try to give uh, same distances between them so that they match up well okay so one more set of copies copy paste and just going to put them there
okay so we need to have one more set actually so I'm just going to delete these guys one two three four because they're just outside and I need to make uh, another set of this because we need to create some kind of a looping animation so that it repeats over and over again copy paste it actually paste it okay and then I want to make this guy go up here okay that looks good so if I just go back now and lock these two things so now you should have something like this press control enter and that moves so damn fast so let's make it a bit slow uh, to make it slow all we need to do is ch just increase more frames so I'll press F5 to go from uh, 24 frames to let's say three seconds that should look good press control enter and that's better uh, if I want I can also make this more uh, longer press F5 more keyframes more time for the animation so it's a bit more slower now uh, if you think the the lines are a bit thicker you can actually make it thinner to any size that you like you can make it slower faster uh, does not matter okay so hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't checked our website go ahead and that's reese3d.com have a great day and see you in the next video bye bye